Hi, I'm Eileen Drum. Um, here we have a disability in Fermanagh here. Um, I originally was told I had uh, polio, uh, but about six years later, six years ago, I discovered that I had cerebral palsy. Do you think? Do you think, on Eileen? Do you think, Eileen, that um, there are particular issues that that, that that women with disabilities face as opposed to men with a disability. Yes. Yeah. Uh, could you yes. outline what you think um, those are? Well, going from as I said at the beginning, I when I researched the topic, uh, I didn't really know that much. But before the DDA, Disability Discrimination Act, disabled women were treated even by ordinary women were treated as third class citizens, which I wasn't aware of. Um, whereas men with disabilities were treated maybe as second class. You know, uh, you could, uh, many ladies are out working or employment with disabilities. Uh, I know it's limited in the, in the men as well, but I think there's some statistics proving that there's more. Um, the difficulties uh, with, like I know one girl was in a member of our group, uh, she, she's, she is taking time out at the moment, uh, she has a disability and she has a couple of children. Um, and I know the difficulties she had with her first baby uh, when I spoke to her, uh, maybe it would have been a couple of weeks well afterwards, she wasn't treated the same as any other woman, uh, would she be able to manage? Uh, she would. Ha she was lucky that she had her mother there and that her mother became a joint carer. This was the attitude. Um, whereas in the second child, there was no problem. Um, so in areas like that, uh, been as carers, uh, sometimes if if she has a if she has a partner or whatever, sometimes the partner is the carer. As such, that's sort of in statistics. Um, so there are a lot of issues in both women and men with disabilities. Okay. Well, at the beginning, there was great enthusiasm at the beginning when the Disability Discrimination Act came in in uh, 95, I think. Um, I remember thinking at the time, well, although, yes, women making was, was on the go at the time. Um, I remember thinking, well, this is great. With the Disability Discrimination Act, we will be able, there will come a time when um, there will be no need for women making waves because they'll be able to be equal uh, with, all, with other women's groups, you know, and that I was looking forward to that. I don't mean it in the sense, but to see things uh, changing. Today, there's a big need for women with, for women making waves. Times have changed, not for the better. Every, the, the enthusiasm at the beginning was, oh, everything is going to be totally accessible. Restaurants, uh, uh, restaurants is going to be accessible. Like here is perfect. Um, Buildings is going to be brilliant. Um, you're going to you're going to be treated as equal. You, but I would have thought, oh great, we'll have no problem with parking. We'll have no problem with this and no problem with that. But every time you go out, there's a problem. So no, it it didn't it didn't materialize the way we thought it would. And I don't think that our job, as far as I've been, been activate, activate, is, 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 I think, I think there's more of a need for us, you know, than at one time I thought, well, we could sit back. We can't sit back. 